What's up? This is Squad 2440 with Spin Tires Mud Runner video. Today we'll be doing a mudding and off roading challenge here with quarter ton trucks. We have a 1997 Dodge Dakota and a 2017 Toyota TRD Pro. Take home both our extended cabs with the short beds, which are perfect. And our first here is the Toyota Tacoma. I really do like this color, it's a pretty cool one. And we will be keeping all of these trucks as stock as possible. But now the Dodge does have a few upgrades, other than that, they are pretty much stock. Hope you guys are excited for more spin tires and modern videos to come here on the channel and i hope you guys are having a great day today let me know how it is down below in the comments i really do like this car here of this truck it does look pretty cool and it kind of goes along here with the, like the off-roading color scheme and i mean just take a look that cruise is no problem whatsoever and you guys down below tell me which one won today's challenge as you guys can see, going right up and over these uh, fallen trees here, no problem whatsoever for the Tacoma. I really do like this truck a lot. Looks pretty cool, especially the extending cab. That's a pretty nice configuration, and having that extra long bed since it is an extending cab. I think we'll be making this uh, right-hand turn over here. You guys can see so much speed here with the TDRD Pro. It's Toyota's off-roading one, which is pretty cool. And as you guys can see, it looks like we are going to be passing by a little logging area, which is no problem. This is a pretty cool area. Take off that unlocking that tool, which is pretty cool. We do have a very similar one there in the uh, farming cylinder. Now, I really do also enjoy featuring it. Spin Tires or Spin Tires Mud Runner every single Saturday here. It's a ton of fun. And you guys are the ones that are making it possible. As you guys can see, we are just kind of cruising down over here, no problem whatsoever. It looks like the terrain is no match here for this, which is pretty cool. You guys can see that the TRD Pro really just has a ton of power. The four-wheel drive is definitely pretty cool, so it's going to deactivate diff lock and our four-wheel drive. And let's kind of see what happens now that it's a rear-wheel drive. You guys can see the wheels are struggling, skipping a bit. And wow, we are just struggling. We'll turn diff lock on, does help, but all wheel drive is very helpful. We'll turn that all off as we come over here to the deep mud and take off that, guys. We are just spinning our tires. I think we'll activate all wheel drive. All wheel drive is helpful. Then diff lock does help us the extra way, but I think we'll have to turn it on just to kind of get through this little river crossing. As you guys can see, we are taking on quite a bit of water, but take a look at that, climbing right out of it, which is pretty cool. And I mean, we do have some damage, looks like we did uh, get some from the water there, which is no problem. But I mean, overall, very cool truck. You guys can see a ton of mud overall, and I mean, this Tacoma really did a great job. So it's time to now switch over to the Dodge Dakota, which is pretty cool. I believe that we do have a Dakota in farming slanter. That is pretty cool. You guys can see this is mostly stock, but it does have no front bumper or back bumper. And it looks like it does have a little bit here of a lip kit. And I really do like this first person. We take a look there. We do have a roll cage, so this is a bit modified, but we should still uh, be able to see kind of what happens here with this uh, 1997 Dodge Tacoma. As you guys can see, mud is flying all over the place. And there were a few color options, but I decided to go here with this off white. I really do like it. It does show the mud a lot more. And you guys can see that the suspension is very nice here on this truck. Like I was saying, I did want to keep them as stock as possible, but sometimes. Uh, when they are released, they do have uh, modifications. We are kind of cruising through, no problem whatsoever, getting right over those tree branches, which is nice. And I mean, we are just cruising. I actually really do enjoy this first person view. You guys can see mud's coming up so much. You guys can see, just take a look at that. I mean, that is pretty cool though, having it come up so much. And we'll be taking this uh, right hand turn. And we'll be just trying to go on the same path to kind of see how each one does on both. I think that this is a, in a little bit of a higher RPM engine wise, other than that, I think that they are very similar traction wise, everything like that. We'll turn diff lock, all wheel drive off, and now it's down to just rear wheel drive, you guys can see the tire is spinning. Once you do activate diff lock, both tires spin at the same time, if you deactivate it, they both spin separately, which is nice, and I mean just take a look at that. 
Now it's time to just activate all-wheel drive here. And as you guys can see, all-wheel drive is a big key in off-roading without it. It's a very tricky. You guys just saw just spinning around it. And I really do like just kind of switching in between both, trying to see which one is helpful. The diff lock really is helpful. You guys can see spinning more on that side, not on this side. Then it really does fix it, make us go a little bit faster. But speed is always not good when you are off-roading. You want to go slow. The slower you go, the safer. And you prevent a lot damage uh, if you do go over some pretty rough bumps or eat anything like that. I will now activate diff lock and all wheel drive. Overall, I feel like both trucks did a very nice job, but like I was saying guys, you guys will be the ones choosing which one will win. And I think we'll be cruising down here, you guys can see unlocking another one, which is nice. And I think that we'll cruise down here, looks like, yep, pass by that log cabin and the other truck should be coming up very soon. We'll now be doing this river crossing. We actually did test out the other one right over here in it. Rear wheel drive only, you guys can see spin one. It. A diff lock really does help out, but not enough. You guys can see just continuing to spin our tires. Take off that. We are making the, uh, wow, I mean, just awesome how much power we have, which is nice. And we'll kind of uh, turn both on as we do cross the river. Now this is a pretty giant current, you guys can see already up, almost covering this. And it looks like we are not getting too much damage here to the truck, unlike we did to the Tacoma. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Spin Tire Mod Runner here with the 2017 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro and the 1997 Dodge Dakota. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more.